Hello everybody, it's me GT and welcome to another snapshot video. So welcome everybody to snapshot 15W34A, B, C as well as D. Are you excited? Well guys, I am. So the first thing that we're gonna look at has to do something with these zombies. Let me just turn the sound down for a moment. So that's the music and sound. Hostile creatures. Just gonna turn them slightly down. And here we are. So what has been added to these mobs? Well, if I just go into survival, so game. Game mode zero. Then you will now see that they will start tracking you. Their hands will go up. Why? Because they have realized that you're standing here. So right now, if you're in survival, these mobs will now know where you are. So this is a way to see if they are tracking you or not. If their hands go up, they are following you. If they are still down, like when I am in creative, then they are not tracking you. Real easy. So the next thing on our list has to do with the swords. First of all, when I slash, you will see in the right bottom next to my bar, my hot bar, that there's a new icon. And this has to do with slashing and hitting things. When it's fully charged, so the sword disappears again, then you will deal the most damage. If it's still empty and you try to spam it like this, you won't do damage at all. So just be warned. Then something else, we can now see the attack speed as well as the attack damage each tool provides. And that gives us quite some strange results. If we go over to the tools, we can find out that the X will do 11 damage, while the sword will do 7. That's because this one will have an attack speed of 0.85, and this one over here, 1.45. So the X is definitely slower. But if you give the Diamond X Sharpness 5, you will be able to one hit kill zombies and creepers. So that's something to keep in mind. Then once we go over to these guys and we try to hit them, you will see that we now have a new slashing animation. This goes for all sports. And this only works when your sport icon in the bottom next to your toolbar is fully charged. So we hit him and we get the attack. If I now want to show it to you without the slashing animation, I just have to keep hitting him and you will see there, there's no slashing animation anymore. And there he goes. Took some way longer. Then another new thing with the sword. And for that we're gonna need some more zombies. Right now, normally when you hit one, one zombie gets, gets pushed back. But if your sword is fully charged, you can actually move them all. Right now it's difficult to see because I do not have extra space for them. But if I do it like this, you'll see that I am pushing them all out. You see that if I hit one, the other ones go as well. And die. And just one last time to showcase it to you. When we go over to the other side. And we go run in and hit them. You can see that I am pushing them all out. There we go. Not one gets pushed back, but all of them. So don't worry about getting stuck in a corner. You can just throw them away. The next thing of today is going to do something with the armor. Right here we've got this armor, which is still completely healthy. And if we put it on and go into survival you will see that right now we've got four armor icons and this indicates how much damage you will absorb but as soon and for that we need this one as soon as the green bar so the health bar of your item gets below half this will change right now i only have got half icon of my shield or my protection left so right now, I am completely helpless. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing on our list has to do something with command blocks. As you can see right now, we have got three command blocks, three colored command blocks. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, you can now color your command block. Well, not exactly. Right now, we have got a new feature. And when you go into the command block, you can click this button over here and change which kind of command block it is. So this one is the normal one and when I press the button you will see it says, says normal just as it used to be. And this one over here is the chain one and this one will only activate if another one really close nearby um, is activated first and the arrow of that one is facing into this one. So that's something I will explain over there. So right here we have got the command say execute chain. Then right over here we have got one that says 1, 2, 3 and 4. So now we don't have to use repeaters in between anymore. So you can see that the arrow of the normal one is facing towards this one over here. And when we press this one you will see that all the commands are being executed. Just one thing to let you know, it does not work if you want to start it in the middle, for example over here. Press the button, nothing happens. And something else, right now I am powering all those command blocks. If you don't power them, for example like this, then press the button. It won't go that far. So it will still go through the block, for example um, this one over here. That one is not getting powered right now. When I press the button, this one is getting powered as well. Just that's how the button is placed. Um, but now it's one, then it skips one, three, four. So it still goes to the next command block, but as long as it's not powered, it won't give the commands. So right now they are all back to normal. Press the button and we've got one, two, three, four. Then the next one on our list is this one over here and this is the repeat command block repeat is very simple as long as it's powered it's going to repeat its message message like 20 times a second so that's a lot so if you want to spam someone's server with a lot of chat commands then you can definitely use this one but that's not everything for today because we still have got one new crafting recipe. It's not a new item, but it's definitely a crafting recipe. So right here in front of me, we've got two maps. This one is the normal one, and this one is a kind of special one. If we take this one out and take the shear as well, and we go over to this thing over here, as soon as we put this one in, we can place the shears next to it. And when we then get out the map, you will see that the map has become way smaller. So you can now downsize your maps as well. And that's just real helpful. Just something to keep in mind. So guys, I really, really hoped you enjoyed today. And that creeper is going to blow me up, so I'm going to be fast. So I hope you liked it. I really hope you did. And if so, be sure to follow up the experience next time. I'm really going to break something by hitting... Because it's going to be awesome next time. Guys, I'm signing out. Thanks.